Hello everyone, Hard here and today I'm gonna be making a video on the geological time scale. Now I have made this before but I'm making this video again because another one. So let's begin. Now the geological time scale is divided into four eras which are further divided into periods. Also see this, pay attention to this if you want the exact spans of periods. The first era in the geological time scale is the Precambrian era, which starts at the formation of the earth and ends at the development of complex life. The Precambrian is divided into three eons, the Hadean during which the earth formed out of floating matter in space, the Archean when simple life first appeared, and of the Terrazoic when the atmosphere was filled with oxygen. After the Precambrian era came the Paleozoic. The, pa the Paleozoic has six periods. The first one is the Cambrian. The Cambrian is known for the Cambrian explosion, the rapid diversification of life. The first vertebrate named Hyacoic teeth appeared, which had characteristics like a backbone and a memory. All those trilobite, anormal orcalis, and hallucigena or some creatures from this period. But by far the most common life forms in the Cambrian were the arthropods. The next period was the Ordovician, which began with an extinction event that killed many brachiopods. The Ordovician's wildlife served as a blueprint for future life on Earth. The nautilides or mollusks as commonly known developed as well as cronoids or these animals. The Ordovician ended with a mass extinction event which killed 80% of life on Earth and the Earth entered an ice age. After the Ordovician period came the Silurian period. The Silurian period saw life on land for the first time in form of vascular plants like Oxonia. Vascular plants means plants with the tissues called xylem and phloem that conduct water and food material around the plant. Also this thing called Eurypterus lived in the Silurian period. Go look it up if you want to. After the Silurian period came the Devonian period, the age of fishes. There were three kinds of fishes which inhabited the Devonian sea. Placoderms, cartilaginous fishes and bony fishes. The kind of fish which would reach land first would decide who would inhabit and colonize land. There were fishes of a variety like cartilaginous fishes like the first shark, Platyphilish, and the famous placoderm which almost everybody watching has heard of, Dunkleosteus. During the Devonian period, plants colonized the land completely. Since there were no herbivores to stop them from growing into gigantic forests. During the end of the Devonian, a mass extinction called the Late Devonian Extinction occurred and it wiped out almost 75% of all life, including the placoderms. But at, at least the ancestors of all tetrapods or four legged vertebrates survived. The next period is the Carboniferous, and there are two things of significance in this period. One, coal, and two, giant insects. The Carboniferous means coal bearing, and that is because the process that started the formation of coal began during this period. Also, giant insects roam the land. Here are some of them to scale with my five foot tall animated self. The last period in the Paleozoic era is the Permian. The Permian had iconic animals like the Dimetrodon and Scutosaurus. But by far, the most significant thing about the Permian period is the largest mass extinction in the history of the planet. This mass extinction killed 95% of aquatic life and 75% of organisms on land. This was devastating and life took millions of years to recover. But, as Dr. Ian Malcolm has always said, Life, uh, finds a way. 
the third era in the geological time scale is the Mesozoic. The Mesozoic is undoubtedly the age of the dinosaurs, as you will soon find out. The first period in the Mesozoic era was the Triassic. The earth was in complete disorder after the Permian extinction. Complex food web structures took 30 million years to recover because many animals in certain ecological roles went extinct. During the Permian extinction, there were three types of animals that survived. Thalanaxodon, Lysosaurus, and Protorosuchus. Lysosaurus, or Dicenodont, was the most common land animal during this time. Protorosuchus would later evolve into, can you guess it? The dinosaurs! But during the Triassic, dinosaurs were quite small, as they were not at the top of the food chain. Instead, crocodilians like Postosuchus were. Also, during the Triassic, Cynognathus, an early mammal, evolved. Although it was very small because, again, it was not at the top of the food chain. After the Triassic period came the Jurassic. This was the period when dinosaurs reached their largest. Giant sauropods like Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, and Ampicoelus lived during this period um, along with many other dinosaurs like Stegosaurus and Allosaurus. Life in the Jurassic was at its grandest, not only for the dinosaurs. In the skies, pterosaurs flew and the plesiosaurs swam in the ocean. Then after the Jurassic came the Cretaceous. The Cretaceous has the most famous dinosaurs of all time, the Tyrannosaurus Rex and Triceratops Horridae. The Cretaceous is also the period when flowering plants first appeared. The Cretaceous ended with the TPG mass extinction, which killed 75% of all life, including non-living dinosaurs, pterosaurs, and plesiosaurs. Dinosaurs are still around today in the form of birds. The fourth and current era in the geological time scale is the Cenozoic era. The tertiary is the first period in the Cenozoic. The survivors of the TPG mass extinction would turn out to be the creatures that would dominate the tertiary. They were the mammals. You see, mammals had existed for well over 200 million years at this point. But this was the first time they were able to grow in size and occupy a variety of ecological tools. They became massive, as can be seen with the Paramecium, Volume Mammoths, Ground Sloths, and every other character in the Ice Age movies. Speaking of Ice Age, there were Ice Ages in the Cenozoic. That happened a lot. The Quarantine came next, and it is a period in which all of human history takes place and when humans colonized the earth. So that was the video guys. I hope you enjoyed and if you liked it then leave a like and if you want to see more types of videos like this then subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.